Good evening. John Shuttleworth here. And tonight you find me in my bedroom at the window. And even though it's dark outside, the curtains are wide open. They're not shut and tucked behind the radiator, as you'd expect. They're open, and there's a very good reason for that. I'm preparing the window frame for painting. And to that end, I have in my hand a piece of sandpaper. Fine grade. I've already applied uh, coarse and medium. We're on to fine now. And when that's done, I shall move on to actually painting the window frame. And I have to do it tonight because, you see, it's a present for Mary, my wife. Because tomorrow we're celebrating our silver wedding anniversary. Yeah, been married to Mary for 25 years. And I just thought it'd be lovely for her to wake up and see that the window had been painted. So, please excuse me while I crack on. <clears throat> we present the Shuttleworths in Every Cloud Has a Silver Wedding. And where is the lucky lady? While all this is going on, you might inquire. Well, she's at step class. Intermediate division. Yep, she's just moved up from beginners. And this is another cause for celebration for us this week. Now, a co-attendee at step class, and therefore ideally poised to keep abreast of Mary's movements tonight, is Joan Chitty. Joan has very kindly agreed to phone me on her mobile as soon as Mary shows any signs of returning home. Now, if I haven't finished the job by then, like they do on ground force, Joan will distract Mary and, um, you know, take her to the bar at the leisure centre and wait until she receives a call from me to confirm that the job is completed and it's safe to release Mary. <clears throat> Very exciting. Now, the sanding's complete. Let's begin painting. Um, I do realise I should first wipe down all paintable surfaces with a damp cloth, but there isn't time. So, I've loaded the brush, generously, but not excessively. Rose pink, same as before. Oh, just taking a last fond look at the previous coat, applied in the early 80s, when me and Mary were still newlyweds. Shame to go over it, really. You can still see every brush stroke. It's like a moment frozen in time. It doesn't take much, just look and you will see the journey of a paintbrush. See where the paint went, to know the moods of the painter as he painted. Hear the brushwork sloppy, looks like he was in a rush, wife was getting stroppy. Late for tea was he and it seems he missed a bit Distracted by a DJ's quip On his little tram knee It doesn't take much Just look and you will see The journey of a paintbrush Oof, here he lost a bristle He didn't notice He was so quick doing this sill and here the brush works for C. Was he slowing down a bit in need of a coffee? But he carried on until here it seems he missed a bit. Distracted by a DJ's quip on his little tram knee. Journey of a paintbrush. Oh, journey of a paintbrush. I hope it's not Mary. If so, Joan Chitty has let me down badly. See you shortly. Joan! Hiya, John. Where's Mary? She's... Why aren't you at step class? Well... Why didn't I... you phone me, Joan? Let me come in, John, and I'll explain everything. Yes, all right. In you come, Joan. Thank you. Has there been an accident? Has Mary got wind of me plans? Hey, John. Oh, yeah. Sorry, go on. Mm. Well, I went along 
to step class. Mm. And it's, oh. What? Intermediate, it's too hard. Yeah. Is it? You know, I wish I'd stayed with the beginners. Oof. Mary's fine. Oof. She's coping fine, but I couldn't do it. No. There's too many intricate steps. Are there? And I got upset about that. Oh, Joe. And I had to go to the bar mm. and have a few drinks to calm down. Yes, I can smell it on your breath, Joan. Well, I'm sorry. But anyway, I panicked, Jan. Oh. I didn't think there was enough time for you. So I'm here to help you paint the window frame. Now, have I done wrong? Um, I don't know, Joan. Are you any good with a paintbrush? Am I any good with a... Oof. Oh, sorry, Jan. Careful. You just bashed into our pot pouring. I do apologise. Which, if I can just explain, Joan, to the listeners, mm. has got a lid on. Because uh, it started to smell a bit funny. You know, oh. So we've had it a while. Mm. Sorry, carry on, Joe. Thank you. Now, in answer to your question, yes, I am good with a paintbrush. I painted the whole of our house when Eric died. Did you? So, come on, take me upstairs and let's do it. All right, Joe. That's uh, a very kind offer which I won't refuse. Oh, God. Can you manage the stairs? Can I manage the stairs? Oh! oh. No, I'm all right. Joe. Thank you. You're overloading your brush, Joan. Are you sure you've done this before? Have I done this before? Don't be cheeky. Well... Now, you'll leave me to it, John. Yes, I will, Joan, once I feel confident that you can do it without supervision. No. Oh. Well, you know, at the moment it's dripping, love. It's done. There's globules of paint there, look. No. Oh. You're going to get it on your coat, Joan? No. Oh, i better take it off then, aren't I? Yep. Joan's now removing a gabardine. Oh. Oh. Get away from the window, Joan. What's the matter? Oh. Eh? You didn't tell me you just had your leotard on, love. No. Oh. I didn't have time to change, John, at the leisure centre. Well... I was in a hurry to come and help you. I know, but... I embarrassed but... to be seen with me. Well, Joan, it's, it's just that you're in my bedroom at night. Curtains open. Um... Dressed in a leotard, you know, it could be misconstrued by onlookers. I'll put a t shirt on then, shall I? Yes. Got one in my bag. <sighs> oh, John, I forgot to give you this. <gasps> a bottle of champagne? Yeah, it's for you and Mary oh. to celebrate your silver wedding anniversary. Thank you very much, John. That's very sweet of you. Are you looking forward to the next 25 years, John? I am indeed, Joan, yes. Are you still in love with Mary? Oh, yes, very much so. Um, I mean, you know, we have our fallouts. Yes. Only uh, this morning mm -hmm. we had a squabble over um, the, there's two margarines in the fridge. Is there? Because I couldn't find the open one. So I opened up a fresh tub mm -hmm. and then I realised my mistake and I wanted to put it back. Mm -hmm. But Mary said it doesn't matter. Have both margarines on the go at once. Yes. <laughs> Which I think is crazy. And I still do. I've not budged on that, Joe. Mm -hmm. um, but... On the whole, yeah. We get on very well. Have you never been tempted to stray? <clears throat> um, well, uh, a good few years ago, Joan, when I was a security guard for a sweet factory in the Rotherham area, yeah. I attended a conference. I've written a song about it, actually, oh. in the folk idiom. Uh, don't know if you like folk. Yes. I don't. Oh. I think it uh, encourages slovenly dress. Do you? But it just came out like that. Yes. Can I hear that song, John? <sighs> Not now, John. Because you've got your organ out, I notice. Yeah, but there's... Can I Please, hey, John. No. Come on. Well... <sighs> Play me the song. All right. Oh. But uh, I must be crazy. You're not crazy, John. I am, Joan, because no. Mary will be home very shortly. And I still haven't painted the window. But I shall paint it, John, while you sing the song. Yes, well... The music will spur me on. Oh, <clears throat> right, yes. Mm. Yeah, Joe's painted the windowsill. In time to the music. Lovely. I was at a conference for security personnel. they just completed the opening address when I started to feel unwell. 
So I put down my fuck pack and tiptoed out to the gents for a quick splash down. Then I popped to the bar for an orange juice and a sore as I sat down. An unaccompanied lady oh. sitting at the bar. Did ya? Unaccompanied lady, I wonder who you are. Did you, John? Did you take a shine to her? Well, let's find out, John. Mm. Who she was was plain because she wore on her lapel a badge which bore the name Denise from the Derbyshire town of Bakewell. She was a beauty oh so rare I trembled as I saw what? her stoop to retrieve a packet of nuts. She dropped up on the floor yeah. an unaccompanied lady. Sitting at the bar On a company lady I wonder Who you are That's it, Joan Keep it up Doing very well At that moment a man appeared Her husband, I presume He kissed her and briskly whisked her away Back to the conference room oh. I saw them later in the carvery Sharing a leg of lamb oh. And cursed myself for forgetting briefly That I'm a married man Oh, an accompanied lady Sitting at the bar On a accompanied lady I wonder where you are. Ah, I'm finished. Uh, Joan, what? what the hell have you done? Hey. Oh, you've got paint all over the glass. Oh, dear. I got a bit carried away, didn't I? You did. Sorry. Oh, Joan. <gasps> Bear is back. Oh, dear. Oh, and you're still in your leotard. Mm. You didn't put on a T-shirt like I requested. No. And um. you've ruined me present. My silver wedding anniversary plans are in tatters. Don't panic, Jan. Uh, oh. Good thinking, Joan. Jones, shut the curtains, concealing not just herself, but her awful paintwork. Jan. Yep, yeah, I'm coming, love. Stay there, Joan. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hello, love. Why are you coming upstairs, love? It's not bedtime yet. I'm exhausted, John. Oh. That intermediate step class that's done me in. Mm. I want my bed. All right, but why don't you first go into the lounge, <sighs> put your feet up on the sofa. I've already plugged in your foot spa. Have you? I found some miniature heroes in the cupboard that we didn't know we had. Oh. Um, and I thought we could open a bottle of something special, Mary. Oh, did you? Yeah, and see our anniversary in with a bang. Oh, all right then. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll oh, take my lounge. Lovely. Oh. Yeah. I'll just get the glasses, love. Hi. Oh, brilliant. Joan. Joan? She's gone. The window's open. Oh. Joan's climbed out onto the roof of my porch extension and uh, leapt to the ground below. For a large lady and somebody who struggles at step class, she's surprisingly sprightly. Oh, she's left a trail of pink footprints along our path. They lead onto the pavement and carry on until they reach Ken Worthington's house. And then they go up his path. And there she is, knocking on Ken's door. I don't believe it. She's got our bottle of champagne. I don't know what you think about that, listeners, but that strikes me as being very rude. Very rude. The Shuttleworths was written and performed by Graham Fellows. The producer was Dawn Ellis.